It's Pierre's yeah. son, yeah. isn't it? Pierre Van Hooydonk, yeah. Sydney. He's, He's been linked with Celtic yeah. for about three years on and off. Yeah. Um, Paul, um, 6'3", 6'4". Um, obviously Lewis will know all about him he'll be a teammate of uh, of Lewis's over there but, but it seems to be that he, he's a bit frustrated a lack of game time certainly not starting uh, many games and considering that there's no doubt Celtic's in the market uh, for a striker so could that be one that's permanent could it be might suit all parties a loan deal in January with a view to making it permanent uh, I'm not so sure obviously would come with the, the no use the word baggage but with his dad being who, who mm. he was and his dad was terrific uh, um, for Celtic so yeah that could be one that certainly would be on the radar Any word on Van Hooydonk from no, I, see, yeah. to be honest with you I've obviously seen that today I, I've not seen much of him I, I don't know how good he is or, or is he an out and out goal scorer um, but if he's really good um, I'll need to be having a, a word with Lewis and <laughs> trying to divert him elsewhere <laughs> 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 uh, his dad was some player wasn't oh, he? he? he was I, I, um, I never played against him when he was at Celtic mm. I played against him when he went back to um, oh. Firenood ah, of course Yeah. Um, over there he, he scored two unbelievable free kicks mm. that that was his go-to wasn't it? his, yeah. his free kicks he was it's always funny him and, and there was a young Van Pitt and him and Van Persie always yeah. used to fight about who was getting oh, yeah. it and, and I don't think it was any love lost even no. nowadays yeah. but yeah. see, yeah. Yeah. see yeah. for I mean, he's a big boy. Oh, yeah. He was technically really good yeah. as well. Um, yeah, lovely first touch. Yeah, yeah but physical. Um, yeah, he was, as I said, I never come up against him when he, he was in the Celtic jersey, but certainly at Firenham. I remember interviewing him trackside. It was Aberdeen Celtic. He'd just signed live in Scott Sport. And they do the interview, and Alec McLeish was in the studio with Jim White, and Jim says, yeah, great. Bit of a height difference there, isn't it, between Paul and Van Hooydong? He's six foot <laughs> five, and I'm five seven, and a good day. Set his step and, and, uh, you're there. And Jim, uh, Jim though, Alec McLeish gave him a great line. He says, but to fair to Paul, you know, he's not got the, the studs on his shoes. You know, he's not... <laughs> <laughs> he was an absolute giant. I was thinking that you must have. He went to Forest, didn't he? Yeah. Was that right? First yeah, of all, then Fineard as well. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and unfortunately, it was a big fallout with Fergus McCann. Oh, sorry, I if remember. You remember but um, the at wages, the time, it was, um, mm. and I'm pretty, it was Dave, Dave Bassett and Ron Atkinson he had as mm. managers at Forest. And then Vim Janssen, when Vim took over with Murdo McLeod in the summer of 97, mm. uh, he wanted to bring him back. And Pierre was really? up for it. So right. I remember speaking to Pierre. He came to the Celtic training camp. Um, um, and um, a oh, was it was a place called down at the bottom of the tanks, uh, Paul, the uh, uh, Arnhem, yeah, Arnhem okay. down oh, in Arnhem, course. and yeah, uh, yeah, he yeah, came yeah, and yeah. Uh, Pierre was up for it, and I remember him, he, he told me I'm up for it, I want to come back, Vim wants him, and uh, Fergus wouldn't sanction no, any move it, would he? Uh, no. to go and try and because he was dismissive um, about the back. six grand. Yeah, there was, the there was a major, time, there was a major fallout yeah, sure. um, between uh, the two of them.